Why not, Carly? I'm not going to tell him about the trust. I'll just tell him to come rescue his wife. You don't get it. How can't see me like this? He can't know anything about this trip. If there's even a chance of, of patching things up, this will wreck it. The truth will wreck it. I need him. Without him, this baby and I have nothing, thanks to you. I, I hope this child never learns why it was conceived. This baby means everything to me, and it, it's not about the money. Forgive me, Carly. But the way I see it, you've been pregnant twice. Once to get my man, and this time to get my money. The love of a child doesn't seem to enter into it much. Oh, no, that's... That's a terrible thing to say, Rosanna. Especially given that I lost my little girl. I lost my little Nora. Because of you. Now, if you're not going to help this child, just... Please don't go out of your way to harm it by getting me locked in a padded cell or tattling to Hal. The way you twist things is incredible. Listen to me. I love this little life that's growing inside me. And in a way that you couldn't possibly understand unless you felt it for yourself. This is all I have. Don't take it away from me. Look, Carly. Your life is not working. It's falling apart. You need someone to help you. Now, if you don't want it to be me and not your husband, then... Is there someone else? Yes, there is. There's one other person. Yeah, it's me, Jack. But please don't hang up. Please. I'm in real trouble. Carly, what kind of trouble now? Where are you? Well, I, um... I had to come and visit my sister in Reno. It's a mess, Jack, and I can't... I can't even get into all the details right now, but I need your help. And remember how I called you before when I was in trouble and you hung up on me and you felt so terrible afterwards? Carly. Just please, at least take down the information, okay? I'm at Reno General, the psychiatric ward. You're in a psych ward in Reno? Carly, I can't come out there right now in the middle of the Stenbeck case. Where's Hal? Hal can't know I'm here, Jack. Okay, it's late. Wherever you are, just get some rest, okay? How's the baby? Good. Did you get the information, Jack? Yes, I got it. Because you need to come, and, and, and if you do, I'll, I'll pay for your plane fare. I'll, I'll pay for all the expenses, everything. You just need to come, okay? Carly, don't get yourself worked up. It's not good for you or your kid. He'll come. He has to come. He has to. Who's Jack? A cop. And one of the most important people in my life. So what was that all about? Carly's got herself locked up in a psycho ward in Reno. Can you believe it? How's her baby? She says the baby's fine. I'm sorry. I, I should really get this number changed. Visitor, a gentleman from back home in Oakdale. He came. 
I knew he would. Where's my purse? I, I need it. I... Damn it. I'm not looking for anything sharp. I just, I want my lipstick. Jack can't see me looking like this. I guess not. What the hell have you gotten yourself into now? What's wrong? What's wrong? I've got this really touching piece on farmers losing everything. I mean, you talk about a heartbreaking piece, and Dan's telling me he doesn't have the time to edit it. Who cares about farmers? I have romance here, Emily. Singles scene, Oakdale's nightlife. Mm, yeah, and I'll be sure to pass that one along. <laughs> no, Emily. I want my stuff on Hello, Oakdale. And I am talking today. Otherwise, Margot finds out all about your little romp on the rug with Tom. Fine. Fine. Give me the damn tape, Molly. Thank you. Just give me the tape. Wait a minute. Oh, Kim, you're just in Wait time a minute. to see What's my new piece. Going? It's really great. I think it captures Oakdale's nightlife. You are going to put her on the air again after that travesty on last night's news? Don't worry. This isn't going to be live. Just I only hush. Get nervous why has this network become all Molly, all Molly, all the time? Well, I, I think she attracts a certain demographic. We lost yes. two of our best people yesterday because she was on the news. What I want to know... And you! Mm. What? Jack was supposed to come here. Why did he send you? you why didn't he come Stop whining about Jack Snyder, okay? He didn't send me, but I did happen to overhear him talking to Julia about you. He's had a belly full of your, uh, crying wolf. Enough to last a lifetime, so I thought I'd better come here and check it out. Oh, I just want to kill her. I Why did you forget about her for a minute, okay? How did you get yourself into this mess? It was all my damn sister's fault. Look, John, just get me out of here, okay? Just get me out! Not so fast. You are the one I that ought to be in here. You think good. you can do anything you want the baby? You have a lot of money. You're girls, saying girls, it. Girls, ladies, ladies, she... please, please. It's very difficult to understand you when you're both talking at the same time. Well, Rosanna, long time no see. Nice to see you, Dr. Dixon. Things are going well for you? Yes, you? things are fine, thank you. Yeah. You? Oh, you know, ups and downs. Oh, ups and for down, Pete's they... sake. Why don't the two of you just go off into a corner and make out or something? Because it's obvious that neither one of you are going to help me. Carly seems to be in a little bit of trouble here. Maybe she could explain to me what happened. She came to see me. Mm -hmm. When she didn't get her own way, she lost control. She went berserk. She attacked me. She tried to strangle me, and she trashed a gaming room. Oh, and now, now why don't you tell him why there. that is? She dangled that $50 million in front of me. She just dangled it there, and then she snatched it back, and she laughed in my face. Carly, that's not all that I said. You know how much I want that money. You know all I've done for it. I've worked like a dog, and I can't lose it now. Don't let her take it away from me, John, okay? You can't let her do that. You can see how unstable she is. She got irrational yesterday. I did the right thing committing her. You're a doctor. You can see that. You know what I see going on here? One hell of a mess. And I think you started it, Rosanna, with this trust fund for a baby. Putting a price tag on Carly's firstborn. You know, that's sort of sick. I mean, have a baby, Carly, and make yourself $50 million. What sort of person would do that? I'm not proud of it, Dr. Dixon. No, well, but... I think it's both of you, really. You know, you made the offer, and she jumped at it. Maybe the two of you should be locked up in a padded cell in this joint. Look, there was a lot going on in my life when I made this trust. I realize and... that. I remember all about Mike. Yes. Have a baby, Collie, with anybody except Mike. It's a great way to eliminate the competition. You're really enjoying this, Of course, I you? didn't care much for Mike Kazanoff one way or the other, but I gotta take my hat off to a guy who can cause this much insanity. Look, I was very angry when I made that trust, and I regretted it, okay? Mm -hmm. Would you please stop berating me like this? If you regretted it so much, then why didn't you just cancel it? What do you make your sister jump through hoops like this for? Cancel it and be done with it once and for all. Don't shut up! Whose side are you on, anyway? Frankly, I wish that I could. I wish I could end this whole business right now and give the $50 million to some babies who need it. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I made the trust irrevocable. Carly meets the terms, she gets the money. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Please, just make sure she doesn't hurt the baby. Oh, way to go, John. Oh, that's great, just listening to you stick it to her like that. It's almost worth spending the night in this loony bin. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Should we blow this pop stand? Wait a minute. When I 